Helping to fight the awful effects of climate change is not very simple, but Tesla, on the other hand, is ready to take this matter into its own hands and deliver the world with another amazing product called the Megapax. The CEO Elon Musk has decided to accelerate his solar and energy storage business in 2022. And according to him, the profits from the energy storage business will one day equal or exceed those from manufacturing cars and trucks. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to talk about Tesla's efforts to save the humanity with clean and green products and the hype surrounding the new mega packs. If you want to find out more, then stay with us until the end of the video. Also, before we start the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. And let's get started. Megapack has quickly emerged as the leading battery system for large utility-scale energy storage systems as it helped Tesla's energy division accelerate storage deployment, and with that, the company has now built an impressive backlog of orders. Tesla had been very secretive about the project up until now, but Elon Musk has finally revealed about its new energy storage project. Located in Angleton, Texas, south of Houston, it's one of the biggest Tesla energy projects in the world and has a capacity of 100 megawatts to 200 megawatt hours. According to Tesla, in Angleton, Texas, an energy storage product was proposed to provide sustainable backup support to the grid. This resulted in the installation of an 81 Tesla Megapacks, providing greater outage protection while reducing the community's reliance on fossil fuels. Musk has previously admitted that Tesla had shortchanged the energy business in favor of expanding the company's electric vehicle production in 2021. And as for 2022, Musk said that storage and solar production will grow this year. He stated, Our primary mission is to accelerate sustainable energy, and we are trying to stay true to that. Now, how is Tesla planning to do that? The answer lies in the all new Megapack. The Tesla Megapack is a large-scale, rechargeable lithium-ion battery stationary energy storage product intended for use at battery storage power stations. Launched in 2019, each Megapack can store up to 3 megawatt hours of electricity. Designed to be deployed by utility companies, Megapacks can be used to store energy generated by intermittent renewable power sources, such as solar and wind. The energy stored can be used by the grid as required, for example, during periods of peak electricity demand. Prior to the launch of Megapack, Tesla used its 200 kilowatt hour power pack energy storage product to meet the needs of the utility companies with large scale storage requirements. During 2015 and 2016, Tesla deployed a combined 300 megawatt hours of Powerwall and Powerpack technology, including an 80 megawatt hour deployment of Powerpacks at the Mira Loma substation in Southern California. Later in 2017, Tesla used power packs to deploy 129 megawatt hours of battery storage at the Hornsdale Power Reserve in South Australia. At the time, this was the biggest deployment of lithium ion grid battery storage in the world. Megapacks are currently manufactured at Giga Nevada, and each Megapack comes with a 15 year no defect and energy retention warranty, according to Tesla. In addition, a 10 to 20 year performance guarantee is also available for an additional cost. Tesla states that it supplies Megapacks ready assembled, including battery modules, bi-directional inverters, a thermal management system, and AC main breaker and controls. The Megapack thermal management system is located at the top of each unit, and it uses coolant fluid made up of equal parts mixture of ethylene glycol and water to keep the battery at operating temperature. Now, large-scale battery storage solutions such as the Megapack are becoming more economically viable for utility companies to implement due to the declining price of lithium-ion battery technology. Furthermore, demand for the energy storage is also increasing in some jurisdictions due to transitions towards renewable energy sources. The reason for the massive demand is because solar and wind energy sources are more intermittent than coal and natural gas or nuclear power as the electrical energy can be stored in order to fulfill peak period demand. Megapacks are primarily aimed at providing backup power while reducing reliance on fossil fuels. And Tesla says its Megapack batteries store clean energy that can be used anytime. So it might sound like a huge exaggeration, but Tesla Megapacks can actually help any natural regional state or municipal government around the world to produce, store, and distribute clean and renewable energy in a reliable way. Tesla Energy also offers small battery energy storage devices like the Powerwall, which is intended for home use, and the Power Pack, 
which is intended for use by businesses or on smaller power utility projects. However, Tesla has long touted its solar and storage business as fundamental to its future, even as delivery has struggled. Last year, Tesla retooled delivery of its solar roof product amid customer complaints, and it currently faces its Securities and Exchange Commission probe over fire risk with its solar panels. Both solar deployments, which totaled at 85 megawatts in the fourth quarter, and storage deployments totaling at 978 megawatt hours, were down compared to the fourth quarter in 2020. However, on the year, storage deployments reached almost 4 gigawatt hours, up from 3 gigawatt hours in the previous year. On the other hand, in the second quarter earnings call in 2021, Tesla CEO Elon Musk shared that the Megapack is sold out up to the end of next year. While answering a question from New Street Research analyst Pierre Faragu, Musk stated, We have a significant unmet demand in stationary storage. Megapack is basically sold out through the end of next year, I believe. He also stated that Tesla has a massive backlog in Powerwall demand. After that, Faragou also asked about Tesla's sourcing strategy for the 4680 cells, as he wondered if Tesla would ask other battery manufacturers to produce the 4680 cells with their own technology. In response to this, Musk stated that Tesla expects to see significant increases in supply from its existing suppliers. Earlier in the call, he shared that Tesla has contracts with battery suppliers to nearly double their cell supply for Tesla in 2022. Therefore, Tesla is thinking of overshooting cell supply estimates for vehicles and routing excess batteries to power pack and power wall production, Musk said. But in terms of demand, I think there's probably demand in excess of a million power walls per year, and actually just vast amounts of mega pack for utilities. He further added, as all transitions to a sustainable energy production, solar and wind are intermittent, and by their nature, really need battery packs in order to provide a steady flow of electricity. And when you look at all the utilities in the world, this is a vast amount of batteries that are needed. That's why in the long term, we really think sort of combined Tesla and suppliers need to produce at least 1,000 gigawatt hours a year, and maybe 2,000 gigawatt hours a year. So to accelerate the energy storage business, Musk has reiterated Tesla's plan to move its stationary storage products to lithium iron phosphate pack that would rely on iron or manganese instead of nickel. Musk had previously noted the move is a strategy to rely on more available minerals and produce a product with a lower fire risk. Coming back to the Megapacks, they are being adopted worldwide for its excellent performance and reliable usage. A good current example is the state of New Mexico, where Tesla's Megapack energy storage tech will be used to help New Mexico's public service company to replace a retiring 562 megawatt coal plant, the San Juan Generating Station. The coal plant is located near the San Juan mine and produced power at $45 per megawatt hour in 2018 and 2019. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Do you think Tesla's mega packs are going to overrun all sources of renewable energy? Share with us in the comments below, and thank you for watching.